the St. Regis Parish family gathers to celebrate the fifth Sunday in the season of Lent. There are several announcements. The St. Regis Knights of Columbus ask all parishioners to join them on the sidewalk at Planned Parenthood on Liberty Avenue in Pittsburgh next Sunday, March 24th, from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. The St. Regis Festival Committee will meet this Tuesday, March 19th, at 6.30 p.m. in Gillian Hall. There are three more penance services being held this week at churches in our area. See the bulletin for times and dates. Please turn in the hymnal to the opening hymn, number 767, Lift High the Cross, number 767. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Whatever it is. <laughs> All I know is the sun's shining, so it's a good day. Mm -hmm. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we, as we begin this fifth Sunday of Lent, let us gather at the altar of God to seek God's forgiveness and also God's mercy as we seek to, to prepare to give Him thanks and praise. Lord Jesus, you are the new covenant. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the grain of wheat that dies to bring life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the chosen and glorified Son of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth 
from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All, from least to greatest, shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all my being, bless his name. Bless the Lord, and forget not his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. destruction and crowns you with his kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful, merciful. And gracious is our God, slow to anger abounding in kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Praise and honor to you. Praise and honor to you, praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor 
from the Holy Gospel according to John. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. Where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it, and said it was thunder. But others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is a time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. On this fifth Sunday of Lent, we are entering into the final days of our Lenten journey. And at the beginning of next week, at this time, we will begin the, the holiest of weeks in the church. We begin it with, with Passion Sunday, also known as Palm Sunday. And in the Gospel today, the Passion is in the forefront in this Gospel that Jesus begins to speak about his death, his impending death, and also what will lead, what his death will lead to. And when we begin to speak of the death of Jesus, and we begin to speak of death in general, it's human nature that we begin to think about our own impending death. Everyone dies that everyone that's human dies, even Jesus. And when we speak of death, it makes us feel uncomfortable because it's the fear of the unknown. It's also a fear of, of well, even though Jesus promises that, that, that we will have life after death, 
we still have that doubt in the back of our minds. What if? But whenever a, someone whom we love tells us something, even though we may have a little doubt in what they tell us, because of their love and because of our love, we trust them. And so we trust Jesus that what he is telling us, we will experience, even if it makes us uncomfortable, because we know that in order for us to, to share in the promise of Jesus Christ, we all must die. But Jesus Christ has promised us that, that even though death is private, that, that it is personal, that none of us, no one who believes in Him, in fact, no one, even those that don't believe in Him, is alone at their death. That he is there because he understands death. He went through death. But he also knows that what death will lead to. That death will lead us to new life. And he came to die for us so that we can have that new life. Because the Father wants us to share in this new life. He wants us to realize that this life, there is more to this life than just being here. And so Jesus, in his ministry, in his life on this earth, prepared us for our death by teaching us how to live, how to be like him. And he did so not to take away death, but to give us hope to help us deal with, the, with our impending uh, death. To give us some courage to face our end physically in this world. To give way to a new life, a different life. A life where we will share in all that Christ promises. A life that is eternal. Because now we begin a new way of life. That we give way to our human physical existence into a spiritual eternal existence. Joined together with the, our Creator, the Father, with His Son, Jesus Christ and join with those who have gone before us so that we can live life not with fear, not with doubt, but with eternal joy. Together, let us make our profession of faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Lord, born of the Virgin Mary, he became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. 
ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He is going to come again to return to the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have an end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son and the Lord and glorified, and has spoken to the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us lift up our prayers for our needs and the needs of the world. The response is, hear our prayer. For increased vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life, and for the diverse ministries that get, give life in abundance to the church. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they will ceaselessly work to destroy war and violence throughout our world. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For a sincere willingness to turn from condemnation of others to growth in charity and love for all. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For Richard Wakefield, our elect, and Lanny Conley, our candidate, and for all who will receive full communion at the Easter Vigil, may they always have undaunted faith in their journey to God. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who have been sown with Christ in death, especially Stella Duraniak, may Stella and all our beloved dead bear an abundant harvest with Christ in eternal life. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. During this Mass, we remember in a particular way the living and deceased members of the St. Regis Parish family. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold deep in our hearts, which we now pause to add. Everlasting God, you sent your Son to bring us new life. We ask that you hear the prayers we offer today. We pray to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn in the hymnal to the presentation hymn. Number 390, Jerusalem, my destiny.
Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all of his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of It is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. By the working of your power, you therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For one about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the cup of blessing into his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, 
We offer you what, we, what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son and in the saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May make your church a sign of unity and instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Larry, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please turn in the hymnal to the communion hymn, number 633, I am the bread of life, number 633.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a very happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, my, as I tell my Irish friends, including my priest friends, that there are two kinds of people in the world. Those that, are, those that are Italian and those that wish to be Italian, that includes St. Patrick. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord and being faithful to the gospel. Thanks be to God. Please turn in the hymnal to the closing hymn. Number 724, crown him with many crowns. Number seven, two, four. Crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon the throne. Our Music, but it's on. Awake, my soul, and sing to Christ to set us free. And hail him as your heavenly King through all eternity. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed o'er the For those he came to save, his glories now we sing. Who died and rose on high, who died.